Hey Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your June reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you and I hope that you're having an awesome day and that you have an awesome week. Happy Monday. This reading will be up on Monday, I believe. So yeah, I just hope you guys have a great week ahead and that this Monday is, if you're watching on Monday, you might be watching somewhere else, somewhere down the line in the future. But uh, yeah, I'm just wishing you guys good vibes, good energy, and we're just going to see what the vibes are like, you know, for the rest of June, the next couple of weeks, kind of timeless reading. So like whenever you come across this, if this reading helps or resonates, leave a like, comment and subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information's in the description box down below. Okay, Scorpio, let's get into this. Let's see what's going on for you. What spirit wants you to know, look out for or be aware of. And holy crap, that's way too many cards, way too many cards, spirit, spirit. I know you got a lot of messages for my Scorpios, but uh, please give me less cards, all right? What's going on for Scorpio for the month of June? Ooh, we got the butterfly. I smell changes in the air. I smell changes coming, changes happening. It's been going down. You have been shifting. You're always changing. You're always growing. You're always learning. You're always evolving and bettering yourself, Scorpio, as we've been knowing. That's just a Scorpio thing let's let's get a little bit more insight like what exactly is changing there's something you're going through some sort of like metamorphosis it's a big deal scorpio it's a big freaking deal so like in what ways are you going through changes or what ways can you expect change Ooh, we have the cosmic egg this is this is the last card in the animal spirit deck this is talking about like a huge cycle that you've been going through the last year the last six months it's a big cycle though like it's a personal cycle that is closing out like a personal issue like reaching resolution this is a big deal scorpio like you've re it's basically like you're graduating you've graduated this level you've graduated this chapter of your life and it's time to move on it's time to expand it's time for this next start there's something new is beginning for you let's see what else is going on for scorpio you have energy of spirit very divinely protected your angels are around you your guys ancestors you might be really connecting more to spirit we have the fox some of you have a commitment coming in the fox is normally an energy of like a relationship so some of you maybe have a relationship going from single to commitment Ooh, and the black egg at the bottom more spirit energy so yeah you guys there's like a lot of spiritual connection a lot of divine timing a lot of like like the fails are kind of thin like you're just in sync oh my god the eagle underneath that and then the moth so scorpio it kind of seems like as of lately you've been kind of in a funk or like this moth energy represents kind of being a bit in a funk kind of feeling like what's the point of life why am i doing these things like why am i what even is the purpose of me being here on earth like what the hell like this shit is just challenging or it's tough or you know i don't want to do this anymore and you might be comparing yourself to other people or just comparing yourself to who you used to be or where things used to be or how you used to feel maybe maybe you look back at past experiences you're like man i was so happy back then i wish i felt that way now or i really miss when this this and that and i wish i had that like there's a little bit of like this moth energy can be of like thinking the grass is greener on the other side thinking like wow like my friend over there they're successful or they're married or they have the the fancy car or the nice house and like what is it my time right looking around you and seeing all these blessings happen for people close to you strangers fucking you know social media like celebrities are like what is it my time to shine like what the heck i've been putting in the work b i've been putting in the work i've been busy i've been trying so hard but it's been hard to keep like a positive attitude because it's just like there's a sense of feeling a bit discouraged and just like wanting to know like when is it my time when like well spirit here we have the eagle this is talking about stepping into a brand new cycle and this is a brand new cycle with brand new people, brand new lessons. It's it's very new. It's fresh. It's like it's completely new to you. Never before, never experienced before. There's going to be lots of firsts for you, Scorpio. Lots of first times doing something, meeting certain people, new perspectives. It's, it's so refreshing. This energy is so refreshing. It's going to make you see things in a different way. We have the black egg. This rules your throat. This is about communication. This is about your truth. But it's about like how you see things and how you see the world right now 
I feel like there's people, there's experiences, there's new starts, new cycles that are beginning in June or, you know, in these next few weeks that are going to expand your mind, expand your worldview and expand your truth, right? Wow. It's just, it feels very eye-opening. It feels very eye-opening and I'm excited for you, Scorpio. It's very transformative. I'm not surprised. Like, again, Scorpio, that's like your fucking vibe. Like, excuse my French, but just, you get me, like... You guys are always going through something, <laughs> always. But this feels really positive. This feels really good. And the fact that we have the fox out here in combination with this like cycle closing, there's this transition, there's this new phase that's like, you can sense it, you can feel it, you can smell changes in the air and you're ready for it. And you're like, bring it on, bring on the blessings, bring on the positivity. But the fox, this is a very optimistic energy. This really rules like, you know, being able to let loose, being able to just adjust to whatever these shifts are being very flexible being very fluid that's the word they gave me fluid if you can be fluid if you can just go with the flow and just like have fun with it this is about finding the joy and the little things of life the big the small things every little step every little part of the process embracing it enjoying it and appreciating where you're at and being proud of yourself for how far you've come this is like you you've been so committed you've been so dedicated to this journey that you've been on like this has been a lifelong journey this has been a long ass journey that you've been going through and this is important this next step is very pivotal for you scorpio and some of you have like a commitment coming in now this could be a person this could be a job but this is screaming commitment the fox is normally like a committed energy or rules like someone who is all in like i'm all in that's what i'm getting it's like i'm all in if you're in i'm in like this is so cool so some of you could be stepping into some sort of like partnership or connection or even like soul family like finding people who are part of your soul tribe this is about really finding people that like you need to keep close to you close to your heart this is so cool y'all this is so amazing i love Love it i'm loving your vibe scorpio I'm loving this energy it feels so like invigorating i, I don't know it's just this is so cool so um what do you use my illuminati deck drawn to it so i'm gonna use it not gonna overthink it let's see what's going on for scorpio for these next couple of weeks what do my scorpios need to know look out for or be aware of any insight wisdom guidance for scorpio for the next couple of weeks we have the eight of pentacles yeah i see you putting in lots of effort i see you pretty busy um you're getting a lot done these next few weeks you're gonna accomplish a lot you're gonna be productive okay you're on top of things and you're feeling motivated you got that drive you got that inspiration nothing's getting you down you got that like you're very persistent at whatever this is that you're working towards or investing in or putting effort towards like it's really paying off your hard work your effort i don't even want to say that it's hard work like let's just scratch at it. this is not hard work it's work it's not hard it's enjoyable you find pleasure doing this you have enjoyment like this feels good like if it didn't feel good you wouldn't be putting energy into this so that's a huge sign you're in alignment all right let's see what else is going on for scorpio in june 2023 could be dealing with an earth sign or there's some earth energy <sighs> popping out what's going on for scorpio for these next couple of weeks in june what do my Scorpios need to know? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We got the Queen of Cups. See, like you're just, I see you making improvements towards your mental health, your emotional stability. I see you putting effort towards your healing. I see like you're just feeling really calm and cool. You're also connected to your spirituality and your intuitions on point. You're showing up here very loving, very affectionate, very open and emotionally available. Like you're just not holding back. You're wearing your heart on your sleeve, Scorpio. For some of you, you're really just like embracing your softer side. Maybe you're more feminine energy. We all carry masculine and feminine energies. You're stepping into more of like a feminine receptive mode of like allowing things to come towards you and not like being closed off. This is a very like open and receptive energy. Like you're open to the opportunities. You're open to the adventure. You're open to what, like you're just open to it all. Like this is exciting. I'm excited for you, Scorpio. All right, let's see what else is going on for Scorpio. That's way too many. <gasps> okay, wait. Okay, y'all. I tried putting this. I tried putting this deck or not this deck. This stack away, and it just kept falling out. Like so, maybe this is a sign. Should I take it? Should I take a peek at it? Four of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Three of Cups reversed. Okay. 
let's talk about this i will pull i will pull more cards so there is this this appears like there's a situation here scorpio wow this is a lot of water hella water in your reading four of cups page of cups and the three of cups in reverse you're not happy with somebody there's someone you're not happy with three of cups reverse and the page of cups so this is someone you you're in communication with you're speaking to you know you're connecting to but you're just there's something about this individual you're just not really vibing with anymore you're not really interested it's just like there's something about this i will clarify get a little bit more detail but it seems like there's a, someone that you're just not impressed with and the three of cups in reverse is like you're definitely not happy about the communication or like how someone is like talking talking to you like there's something that you're just like ugh, like there's something missing like there's something that just isn't what i want you know i don't want something here it just is not making me happy so either there needs to be some sort of improvement or maybe there needs to be more work put into this but let me i'm gonna that's okay so that's for some of you those are extra cards i but i guess we'll take it i'll take it um let me just take a look at the bottom of the deck. That might give us a little bit more insight as to this stack that came out. We have the Two of Pentacles, Chariot Reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. So basically, if this is, I think this, let's just put this, this is that storyline. I think you're dealing with somebody and you're not really happy with where things are at. Um, you have a decision to make on whether or not you want to continue to keep putting effort into this. All right. I kind of see you going back and forth on whether or not you, like, there's something about, like, start stop start stop start stop start stop like with the chariot reverse this makes me just think of like you know when traffic's really bad and you just keep hitting every single red light and it's just like every single time that you get going boom another red light have to stop or someone's crossing the road and then as soon as you get going you get going oh you gotta stop again or oh there's a car accident like there's just something that just keeps start stop start stop start stop and it's just like is that just like a sign that it's not for you like redirection like you know and so you have this choice two of pentacles you're like weighing out your options going back and forth like do i continue to keep moving towards this it's, you're telling it's telling me you don't really have a lot of confidence in this direction or in this person or like connection and like things need to be more balanced out right the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles both these cards indicating like something here needs to be balanced in order for things to progress in order for things to move forwards in this realm in this connection it's like there needs to be like more of like e equity there needs to be more fairness there needs to be more balance right so that's just a little bit of insight and this is um we have the lovers underneath that so this could be about some sort of like relationship um that's i definitely am getting this is about some sort of relationship in your life could be a gemini or someone with gemini placements um or even i'm getting virgo as well because mercury energy but there's some uncertainty about this connection and it's pretty burdening ten of wands like you know it, i think it just kind of is slowing you down a little bit i think you've had a lot of patience for this person but like, I don't think much has changed slash is changing. And you're kind of at this point in your life where you're just like, do I want to continue to keep investing in this? Or do I want to like see what else is out there? Like that's for some of you. Okay. So that's just like a little extra insight. Um, I'm going to just leave this little stack right here. Like now nah, we'll just put that there. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just going with the cards, like no really specific order or flow or, you know, I'm just letting the cards do the talking um let's see what else is going on for scorpio in june 2023 i don't know i just i feel like these these need to be separated like i just feel like this doesn't belong with that like i feel like this is its own message and this is a whole message or a storyline okay let's see what else is going on for scorpio in june what's going on for scorpio sun moon eyes and venus for the next couple of weeks what do my scorpios need to know look out for or be aware of all right oh okay Ooh, ten of pentacles very nice very nice you also have seven of cups and the six of swords you're trying to figure out what direction you want to move towards all right um i'll talk about what's at the bottom of the deck so first of all let's just talk about this ten of pentacles this is really representing you reaching this place in your life of being financially stable you having safety like feeling safe in your surroundings feeling safe in your home your environment your relationships feeling supported feeling loved feeling seen and acknowledged and heard the ten of pentacles is really bringing a focus towards your home life um you know your family your roots your upbringing like definitely bringing more of a focus towards your safe place right and you're wanting to feel safe you're wanting to feel secure you're wanting to feel supported and so 
that's kind of like one of your focuses of what what are you putting your effort towards or what are you wanting more of um even more money i see improvement in your money i see improvement in your stability i really am seeing just like lots of improvement like you can't complain about the ten of pentacles you really can't this is just an awesome energy and yeah there's just there's something about connection to family that's being brought up or like you might be connecting with family or seeing some family or you know something about a little family celebration it could be something you could be celebrating all right so attention to the home life is important we'll see why i'll clarify and then so then we have the six of swords and the seven of cups so you're look at this look at this you have options scorpio moving forwards whatever direction you'd like to go down whatever you choose to put your effort or energy towards whatever you want to commit to right you have options of what do you want to put your focus towards you know you got all these cups and then you have your cup what do you want to pour your your energy into your love into your efforts your emotions into what do you want to pour that effort into right you got options and then whatever you choose i see you taking action and moving towards so you might need to lower down your options i will get some clarity about that you might be feeling a little bit lost with the direction you're going down you might be feeling a little bit uncertain you know at the bottom of the deck we have the princess of swords reverse which can indicate like lack of clarity or a bit of like a foggy mind or even like mix up in communication or like communication communication issues literally i couldn't even speak right there <laughs> like what the heck um you know so this is the, there's a little bit of like confusion or a little bit of like uncertainty you're not fully seeing things a hundred percent ace of pentacles and then the five of wands there's like there's this back and forth again the start stop start stop um ace of pentacles there is something new beginning this could be relating to your material world the money something that is tangible something that is in your physical environment here but th uh, there could be a lot of if this is about work there could be a lot of competition in the work field that you are in or like hmm maybe there's some pressure there's something about having pressure or a lot of demands or lots of challenges but you can overcome these challenges for sure um i think it'll just require you to have a lot of patience i see something new beginning though king of pentacles and the fool i see that there's some sort of new beginning it's connected to this ace of pentacles but part of you is like conflicted on whether or not you want to take this opportunity up right it kind of goes back to the seven of cups and the six of swords this is like you have options scorpion you're like i don't know what one to choose there's just so many like <laughs> what do i choose what do i put my effort towards i don't know like again you have a lot to think about seven of pentacles and the hermit so take your time take your time you have a lot to think about you have a lot of offers coming in some of you have romance coming in oh two of cups in the page of wands invitation to go out perhaps but yeah you have a lot to think about a lot to process a lot to consider and we have virgo energy out here as well and taurus out here with the king of pentacles but so you again like you're gonna figure it all out it's just there's a lot of moving pieces of this puzzle like yo so um we have a lot here we have a lot to look into what are we at 17 minutes okay we got about like 10 minutes to look into some stuff okay so um what do we need to look into i'm gonna look into this this into the situation the four of cups princess of cups three of cups reverse see like what's the matter in this situation can it be worked through are you just gonna because that was with the chariot reverse and the two of pentacles six of pentacles like feeling like there's an imbalance in something and you're unsatisfied or unhappy with the way things are going in a certain relationship could be romantic could be friendship could be whatever let me use i'm gonna use my revelations deck i feel like this deck won't like sugarcoat <laughs> it'll get straight to like what the issue is or what the problem is here tell me about the four of cups princess of cups and the three of cups you know going back to that black egg i think it's super important that you're honest and direct with people if you're unhappy with the way things are going or the way you've been treated or you know how someone has been talking to you i think it's important that you are very direct and straightforward and you just you know don't beat around the bush four of cups page of cups and the three of cups reverse for scorpio can we get a little bit of insight into this situation here thank you wow that card just flipped right out what do we got magician reverse yeah you're kind of feeling like unsure about how to handle this situation you're not quite sure even chariot reverse yeah there's like doubts there's doubts about this you're kind of feeling uncertain you're like wondering the possibilities of where things could be going is my deck upside down nope just checking okay four of cups prince page of cups and the three of cups reverse for scorpio tell us about this please with the page of cups coming out double confirmation 
Yeah, there's just like, there's something about like your communication and emotions with somebody. We have the two pentacles literally up in the air. <laughs> literally, and this is the same cards that were at the bottom of the deck when these stack, this stack came out. It's just like, there's something guys, there's some sort of communication that you're having with some person who's very unpredictable or very wishy-washy. And like, even this message that you could be receiving or communication that's in and out, it's just like, it's, there's like, where's, there's no intention behind what they're saying or someone saying something, but they don't actually follow through with any action because it, their action doesn't line up with their intentions or like their words and actions just don't line up or meet their intentions or like this person doesn't know what their intentions are it's very confusing it's leaving you feeling confused um we also have the world at the bottom of the deck along with the moon and the high priestess there's a lot of confusion <laughs> pisces energy coming out strongly you could be dealing with someone of strong piscean placements but there's like a lot that you're just like uncertain about you're trying to read between the lines you're trying to connect with your intuition try and figure out what the vibes are saying like you're really just trying to figure things out and it just doesn't make any sense it's like someone says one thing but like they mean the opposite or it's just this very like hot and cold and so you do need to listen to your intuition about this situation there could be part of you that's like doubting it or like going back and forth about it with that two of pentacles like you're not sure how to read this person like again i think you're just needing to take it as it is not what it used to be or what it could be but like seeing it for what it really is but i see that this is tying into ending some sort of cycle so whatever this confusion is about that you're experiencing or this uncertainty or like even secrets or hidden emotions or someone not being direct with how they feel i don't know i just i see this is like gonna be something that you get clarity on or like i see that the cycle is coming to an end in some sort of way um okay so that's in regards to that little situation there. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. I see some sort of wish fulfillment to come in. Probably words, you know, your money. Um, let's see what this Ten of Pentacles is about. Okay, like that focus towards the home, the home life, the family. What does Scorpio need to know about this Ten of Pentacles? Show me clearly. For Scorpio, Summer Nice and Venus. Why do we have the Ten of Pentacles here? What do my Scorpios need to know, look out for, or be aware of in regards to this Ten of Pentacles? Show me clearly. Ten of the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. The Tower. So there's some sort of unexpected change in the home life. Um, this is your energy, Scorpio. So there's some sort of shift taking place in something that is really part of your day-to-day -day life. Your people that are around you, your closest connections, there's some sort of change. But what is this change? <laughs> Tell the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. Ten of Wands. So we got two tens out here. You could be feeling overwhelmed or heavy or, or kind of burdened with some of these changes that are happening in the home life or in your family. Like you might be feeling pretty stressed out or like you just have a lot on your plate or a lot that you're trying to carry a lot. Oh, what the hell? Why? Sorry, guys. I, I went to like look at my screen and there is another page that was up. And I couldn't see my monitor. So <laughs> I was just like, what's going on? Anyway, so yeah, there's like situation here where you're kind of with the family or whoever that's involved group setting even could be work. You're feeling kind of burdened with these changes because it's just like there's a lot happening you're feeling just the pressure there's definitely a lot of pressure when it comes to like family or like expectations um talking about this ten of pentacles for scorpio in june ten of pentacles for scorpio sun moon eyes and venus in june what's this ten of pentacles about you have high high expectations on yourself or maybe there's people around you who have very high expectations placed on you Oh, yeah, I don't know why I just took like a deep breath. Like it just felt kind of heavy in the chest. Ten of Pentacles, 10, 10, 10, bro, what the heck? See, so this is, re you're feeling the pressure, like you don't want to disappoint or you don't want to like let someone down or let family down or it feels like you have a lot of pressure, a lot of expectations. Look, can, and you are, you are you having doubts like you're unable to fulfill that? Four of Cups underneath that, the Page of Wands. Let me get more on this Ten of Pentacles, Devil. Okay, there's a little bit of toxicity here. Why? You don't want to fail. There's something you don't want to fail at. Knight of Pentacles reverse and the devil. Like you're you're in your head about something, Scorpio. You're like having doubts about something. Let me look. Oops. Let me look into this devil. 
you're getting impatient here. There's some situations that have been kind of frustrating or working against you. You maybe have been feeling, feeling like there's definitely resistance to, to ugh, I can't even speak. There's like resistance to some of these changes or it's a bit frustrating or I'm feeling like you're getting a little bit irritated or there's just something around you that's been weighing you down and you're just feeling a bit like discouraged is that that moth energy of like wondering like when is it my time like what everyone around me is like thriving and happy and blessed but when is it my turn like you know what is this devil about i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah i'll use this deck again talk about this devil real quick for scorpio why is this devil here it could be connected to home or family or money or other people, external influences, more like the physical world. It could also just be your own self. Why is the devil here for Scorpio? Try this devil for Scorpio. Why is the devil here? Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the Four of Swords. You might need to take a break from something to look at things from another perspective here. Seven of Pentacles, Hangman, and Three of Wands are something you may need to reevaluate. There's something you need to reevaluate here, Scorpio. I see you putting effort or putting like working towards something or trying to make improvements in a situation where there's been like a lot of stress or expectations or burdens or something that's been kind of restricting you. I see you trying to work through this. I, I see you working through it. Um, but there is something about this past energy. There's a past energy that is part of this that you might be trying to like remove yourself from or detach from, or maybe it's connected to this situation here, right? With that three of cups reverse, page of cups and the four of cups. Like if you're dealing with someone like where there's imbalance and communication or like the start, stop, start, stop. It's like, I see you like getting frustrated over that, or that could be getting in the way of like other things. And so spirit could be suggesting to take a break from this or like, take some time out, put this on ice and kind of come back to this at a later time or a later date. That might be something worth doing. Um, what else do we need to know about these changes? I'm going to clarify. I'm going to clarify this tower real quick. Um, yeah, like the tower with the 10 of pentacles. It's like, what's this change in the home life? Like, can we get a little bit more? Oh my God. And as I'm about to as I split the deck, ten of cups. So this might again, ten, ten, ten. Tens are shown up consistently for you. Loss of cycles closing out, or like one big grand finale. Like literally the cosmic egg. That's an ending card. We have the world, another ending card. We have ten, 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 ten. Like that's literally six cards with endings or like cycle closing out. We've had six of those cards in this entire reading. Like that's a big deal, Scorpio. So I don't know exactly what is ending or what's shifting or changing or transforming because I guess it's very general and we don't have all the time of the world to be looking into it. and everyone's situation is different literally death literally death right here as we're talking about this but something something is changing in a very very big way but it's not saying what can we just get a little bit of info of what this tower is for Scorpio again though I think it's in the home area or like part of your structure your routine your job maybe let me know how this applies. I'd love to know if you're resonating with this four of pentacles. You might be, again, there's this energy of like resisting or like being afraid of these changes, like holding back or like holding on to things that are beyond your control. Like this could be part of you trying to, yeah, maybe that's that devil energy. It's like getting kind of frustrated because you want to have control over the situation and the fact that you can't really like change the steering wheel. Like it's kind of like, um, like autopilot's on and you can't turn it off like you just you know you can't turn the steering wheel the steering wheel's turning left you're like no turn right and it's like too bad we're turning left and you're like no and there's something over there that you're like i want that thing but the car is driving the other way and you're just watching it like fade away in the distance and you're like no i wanted that but that's not for you there's like divine protection or divine timing or like there's something about that that you need to kind of surrender to but that can be hard um I have this tower eight of wands yeah like there, there's just a lot of things happening beyond your control star reverse and like at the moment 
you might it kind of it might appear initially like things are working against you but it's actually working for you right now you might not have a whole lot of hope about a situation or you're kind of having some doubts or like you're not feeling so positive or super um confident within these changes because it's just so quick and abrupt but i feel like it like initially catches you off guard we have the prince of swords knight of wands prince of cups or sorry prince of wands and then the ace of cups let me show y'all there's a lot of cards here oh did i just drop a card yeah okay well it's the prince of swords right that's all about fast movement um and some of you have like a love opportunity coming in and you might be on the defense because it's just like throwing you off guard or like you don't really trust it or you have doubts about this but spirit's just saying like chill <laughs> chill out um <laughs> all right uh, we gotta leave your reading here scorpio we have a, we talked about a lot there's a lot of different things different storylines situations that i was picking up on but um i hope this was helpful or insightful in some sort of way it's all falling into place like there's a lot of changes occurring on an independent independent individual level mental emotional spiritual on a physical level money level romantic level family level like geez like everything is shifting <laughs> everything it's just a lot it's a lot and you know you just got to find your footing take a deep breath one step at a time scorpio you'll figure it out you got this and overall lots of positive changes even if that initially it doesn't appear that way or you're kind of struggling with like accepting these changes or going with these changes but again with the fox the best thing you can do the advice with the fox is like just trust the process and be open keep an open mind and just surrender and that the more that you can just like release and go with these changes the more um the more kinder it will feel the less crazy it'll be i don't know just like basically lean into it instead of resisting it the more you resist the more complicated it might feel so or the more challenging it might be the more that you go with it and you just surrender and just trust that like okay this is gonna be all right like i'm gonna figure it out like the better it will be or the better experience you'll feel and have and you know okay so i'm only reading here scorpio hope this was helpful hope you enjoyed i will talk to you in the next reading thank you for watching um bye